Hello and welcome back. We're going to do a standard deck tech of one of our card pools uh, deck today, which uh, the is is the Esper Rafin or the Esper Legends deck. And sharing with you guys my, our recent build, in which we compare also possible changes in the list probably on before the release of the murders at Carlo Manor. But so far, we're just going to share a recent. Uh, deck build that we use in our current uh, local and weekly standard tournaments that's specifically the Saturday standard uh, events in the tournaments and so we're going to start off of course with our list we have of course a play set of Rafin, Skimmy Seer as our 3 up in the deck which can curb uh, pretty well we have a play set of uh, Fairy Mastermind we also included these copies of Air Tire Selected, Children the Apocalypse and a new card from the Lost Commons of Isalan is a playset of Deep Cavern Bat. So, we're going to explain uh, first what will be the strategy of the deck. Uh, let's uh, set aside the creatures and non creatures. So, we're going to start off basically the one drops, or I mean the two drops of this build, which is this one. And also, you can curve out with the two drop with the subterranean schooner. And also going with an end of turn fairy mastermind that would also depend on how your starting hand would look like. But uh, its purpose uh, card is basically uh, going with uh, what this um, deck's uh, main strategy is out top, out tempo opponents, getting card draws and the card advantage. And uh, going well, I think, would be the two drop here with the subterranean schooner. Because it's ability that can crew for one and then explore the creature that crewed it. Meaning that uh, if you're going to go first with this and uh, maybe a turn 3 cavern bat that can crew the schooner, you can basically disrupt them checking on their life or their hand of what would be the best card to get or to get exiled by this card and then use it to crew the schooner. So you can basically go for this, crew, and then attack, and then you get to explore. If you get a non land card, you get to have this one become a 2-2, two -two, and the succeeding turns would also become a 3-3 three -three or even a 4-4, four -four, and then use it to good also as a good attacker in itself because of the lifeline effect, which is also very important in uh, life total uh, race, for example, if you're going against aggro. And then you can also go with the mastermind. So since the Master 9 would be casting at instant speed and also have this passive ability that can benefit you for the card draw. You can just use to flash each one at the end of your opponent's second turn and then uh, use it to attack or cast a Rafin on turn 3 and then attack for a trigger of a connive. And uh, that will also depend on how you would curve out, but uh, this is also an important 2 drop in this build that you can also observe in the succeeding turns would also be very useful now for this one would be your utility creatures so air tire selected can basically kill off a creature counter a spell or a trigger the activated ability and also use children to punish those uh, card draw effects from your opponent and you would also gain life from the combo knife whenever you draw a card for each of the cards basically two life in equivalent so that's two in the deck and the three drops that are considered here are also the new cards with the Shina Steinbinder, that's only one copy, uh, disrupting any relevant uh, ability of your creature. And of course, Preacher of the Schism, which also somewhat uh, making uh, use of card advantage and also gumming up the board with these vampire creature tokens with lifelink. So we have three copies in this deck. And of course, the new card that has rose in value are two copies of uh, Geeks Sigma Praetor. So this card would uh, probably be very useful also in the curve having an attacker that can deal the damage with the evasive bat in the mastermind could also get you to pay one life and draw a card so that's uh, pretty much your main creatures getting also cheap uh, card advantage against your opponent and with your non creature spells uh, basically consists of your spot removals Go for the throats, counter spells of uh, make it disappear. So this is three copies. We have two lockdowns and two destroy evil. So this is basically your 
other uh, card that um, do some uh, uh, spot removals at the same time destroy enchantments that are relevant in the meta game of course Leland's binding by the announcement uh, and other stuff and the pressure lands we are also important that we need to curb out with an untapped land so we have uh, this darklish shores a darker wastes uh, plus our heroes will also fix for the legendary creatures or dangerous spells the only top land here would be the restless entourage uh, we have two copies uh, also a good man land in the late game and uh, channel lands around you tawara of course additional uh, ship rick marsh or check lands uh, later on caves of coilos we have also underground river so the curve of the blue block and uh, these are the um, also the other top lands the tri lands of uh, raffin's tower and shattered sanctum also to go with the uh, check lands and the load island in the main deck so that's uh, 25 lands in total with our curve here that is uh, 35 lands making the total 60 of the main deck now for your sideboard which is uh, i'm still not really uh, uh, good in evaluating because of these continuous uh, changes we have uh, two copies of obscure interceptor this is probably the very uh, useful and very relevant in the domain matchup because you know that cavern of souls has now become a main deck of the that particular deck because it can uh, it can name angel to make your their attracts uh, uncounterable but with obscure interceptor you can basically bypass that because you'll just be able to return up to one target spell to its own hand. So delaying them from the hard cast of the Traxa would basically get you a game winner uh, set up. So that's two copies in the deck. We have uh, also two copies of Loran the third path for so additional destroy effect for our enchantments, artifacts, and also card draw. Uh, we have uh, one destroy evil, additional support. We have uh, two Tishana Sandbinder in the sideboard was also goes with having to destroy or counter your activated or triggered ability from your opponent's creatures and uh, this is also with the Prince Walker and also with the artifact and these are the additional uh, distinguished stroke negate uh, generic sideboard for big spells and probably for this is for spot removals any uh, ramp effects, the symbol stroke, of course, for the big spells from the Rock Dos uh, mid range matchup. And also, this one, a very important uh, component of a creature is your Akla Zot's Deepest Betrayer. This is more of a mid range uh, setup for uh, sustaining the matchup against uh, big uh, Rock Dos or maybe even for the domain because it's ability that when it uh, dies. You can have it uh, returned as a temple of the dead and then the, with the setup that uh, you can transform it back if a player has one fewer by that time if you are against a grindy deck you can basically lose all of your cards in your hand so having this one returned back to us also would also get you another threat back on your board so additional spot removal cut down against aggro uh, this is command also with a little utility so these are the cards and uh, that's pretty much it for your 15 cards you can check here again interceptor that's two copies two four six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen so that composed the sideboard of this esper raffin build of our current uh, card pool and uh, do expect that we'll still have another video for the update uh, somewhat updated the version of this once that uh, we check that uh, what may be the top tier decks in the meta game would also be upgraded or changed in this uh, lineup and we will also check those in the mtg melee or even in the recent uh, local gameplay maybe in the rcq since uh, this is now the rcq season for standard and uh, i do hope this would help you uh, know that uh, what this build would be uh, in terms of uh, its uh, current trunk in the beta game of the standard format so i do hope you check this video do like and subscribe notifications on as we go with this one we'll still have future videos on this on the coming days so stay tuned for that one again guys thank you for checking this one thank you for watching and see you guys on the next one